The majority of businesses in the world are small businesses. It is not surprising then that the majority of networks are small networks. With small networks, the design of the network is usually simple. The network topologies for small networks typically involve a single router and one or more switches. Small networks may also have wireless access points. As for connections to the internet, normally a small network has a single WAN connection provided by DSL, cable or an Ethernet connection. Managing a small network requires many of the same skills as those required for managing a larger one. The majority of work is focused on maintenance and troubleshooting of existing equipment, as well as securing devices and information on the network. This video will explain common threats against a small network, security risks and how you can protect the network. Attacks to a network can be devastating and can result in a loss of time and money due to damage or theft of important information or assets. Intruders can gain access to a network through software weak points, modifying software, hardware attacks or through guessing someone's username and password. Access attacks exploit known weak points in authentication services such as FTP services to gain access to files, web services to gain access to web accounts, confidential databases and other sensitive information. An access attack allows an individual to gain unauthorized access to information that they have no right to view. Let's look at the password attack. Imagine a web server that has a small login form. The hacker uses software to repeatedly guess the correct password. These repeated attempts are called dictionary attacks or a brute force attack. The only way to protect yourself from this type of attack is by choosing a long password with uppercase, lowercase, special characters and changing important passwords often. DOS, denial of service attacks, are the most publicized form of attack and also among the most difficult to eliminate. They prevent people from using a service by consuming system resources. Because of their ease of implementation and potentially significant damage, DOS attacks deserve special attention from security administrators. The hacker uses software to repeatedly request a resource on the network such as a website. This is done thousands of times per second until the web server is unable to handle the workload. When the legitimate request tries to come through, it takes a long time to reach the server or ultimately fails after a timeout. A computer virus is the type of malware that intrudes a network by inserting a copy of itself into and becoming part of another program. It spreads from one computer to another, leaving infections as it travels. Viruses can range in severity from causing mildly annoying effects damaging data or software. Antivirus software can detect most viruses, many malicious applications and prevent them from spreading in the network. Antivirus software can be deployed at the user level and at the network level. Keeping up to date with the latest developments in these sorts of attacks can also lead to a more effective defense against these attacks. As new destructive applications are released, networks need to keep current with the latest version of antivirus software as well. In addition to protecting individual computers and servers attached to the network, it is important to control traffic traveling to and from the network. A firewall is one of the most effective security tools available for protecting internal network users from external threats. We hope that this video was able to give you a quick understanding of common network threats and why security is so important. Thanks for watching.